thanks for collaborating with us. Could you introduce yourself and uh, tell us a bit about your background? Yes, of course. Um, my name is Sinam Temur. Uh, I live in Belgium, in Hasselt. I'm a 28 years old uh, Turkish girl. Um, I have studied arts and culture at the University of Maastricht and I currently work as a booker in a theater. When did you first become interested in sim racing? Well, um, it started as a joke actually. Uh, my boyfriend came home uh, with a simulator and he has always been into racing. So he came home with a simulator and there were a few of our friends at our home and everybody got their turn and I wanted to give it a try too. But I really sucked at it, so a friend of ours uh, told me that it was a, girl, uh, a boy thing <laughs> and um, I shouldn't be uh, um, frustrated about it. So I kind of accepted that as a challenge and I was like, I'm going to train so hard that I can beat him. So I trained and trained and eventually I could beat him. And uh, it got a kind of an obsession. So I see. So. You would consider it to be your main hobby at the moment? Yes, of course. Uh, I just started like three, three four months ago and um, I have, uh, there's so much I want to learn and I'm uh, evolving every day, so definitely. What would you say is your favorite sim at the moment? Um, as a console uh, racer, I don't have a lot of options at the moment. Uh, I'm switching. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of switching to PC soon, uh, but at the moment I'm switching between uh, Assetto Corsa and Project Cars. But I've tried uh, F1 2016 too and uh, Dirt. Do you prefer Assetto Corsa or Project Cars, and what's the reason? Okay, um, I guess I would say. Um, Assetto Corsa because of the force feedback. Do you have a favorite combo like car and track combo? Yes, of course. Um, I have to say Spa Francochon and uh, I like, I like uh, open wheel races. So, um, I mean cars, open wheel cars. So I would choose for Formula cars uh, because of the, um, the grip and uh, you can uh, hit the brakes very late. So I have to say Formula One cars. Do you have any real world uh, driving experience, uh, performance driving or racing? <laughs> oh, not at all. Uh, but when I started sim racing, uh, I um, started going uh, karting at the Horensberg Dam uh, karting circuit in Genk once a month. Do you enjoy playing other other games like arcade games or any other video games? I have to be honest, I have never been a real gamer. Um, growing up with two brothers, uh, I played Tekken and FIFA and GT2. And I think the last game I played was uh, last year and it was uh, the game um, Life is Strange. That was a quite entertaining game. So I saw on your Instagram that you play F1 2016. So, what do you think of it? I think it's a quite entertaining game uh, career-wise and uh, being a sim simcade, I think it's an uh, enjoyable game for a wide audience. Have you also tried Dirt Rally? Uh, yes, I've tried Dirt Rally, uh, Rally for uh, once, but as I said, I'm, I'm like more an open-wheel uh, car lover, uh, but um, I'm going to give it a chance, definitely, again. So I also spotted a copy of Gran Turismo 2 on your Instagram. That's a really old school game, so did you actually play that? Yes, uh, that was way back, so uh, I like that game. And I'm planning to play um, GT Sports 2. As a console user, are you considering switching to PC and moving to iRacing? Yes, of course. Um, at the moment I'm a console racer and uh, I uh, know I have to learn uh, a lot. Um, and uh, for me, I think Assetto Corsa is the uh, nearest to iRacing. I can't really tell, but um, uh, reading forums on the internet, I guess it would be like that. Um, so it will take a few weeks or months till I switch to iRacing, but I will definitely uh, want to try iRacing. 
Compared to general gaming where the split is maybe 50-50 between male and female, sim racing is definitely dominated by males. So what do you think of this? Uh, as a female, are you interested in moving that forward and trying to even out the split? Yeah, of course. Uh, as they say, boys like cars and girls like dolls. Uh, I think and I hope uh, gender uh, stereotypes uh, fade out and um, I think that girls, um, you don't see many girls in the sim racing world because uh, they don't give it a try and it's kind of my mission to, to get more girls in the simulators. You have a broad reach across social media, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, yes. Facebook. Yes. So what, what's your maybe long-term or short-term goals with that? Well, uh, I think uh, Instagram at the moment is going well, um, uh, but I'm planning to upload more uh, videos on YouTube. Um, and uh, I think I'm planning to stream more on Twitch because um, I, I, I had a bad experience with that. I had never done it before. And I think uh, three weeks ago or, or a month ago, I tried for the first time and it was really awkward. <laughs> but I'm going to uh, do my best on that. Uh, I also see that on my Instagram, people are, are like asking me questions about my setup or, or whatever. And um, it's starting to grow more like a forum and I really like that uh, you, I really got the interaction with other sim races uh, I guess they I learn from them and they kind of learn from me um, so I'm going to keep doing that <laughs>